Well, welcome back to the show, everybody. Joined now by Sid. Uh, she's back from the Women Tech Council. And also we have Lorraine Wright. She's the co-founder of SWP Enterprises. And this is our Tech Innovator Series with the Women Tech Council. And today we're talking about making those New Year's resolutions and hopefully ones we can keep. That's right. <laughs> and that help grow our business. Yes. We're always talking about that. So we wanted, Lorraine and I have actually for the last seven years been working together at the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program. We've met with, we have rather thousands of thousands. entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who have come through. And so these, all these resolutions come from all that experience of things that we've learned really do help your business grow. All right. So how many resolutions do we need to be making, ladies? So we got five. Five. All right. Five we're going to run through here. All right. What is the first one? So the first one is finding a mentor or an expert to really help you to go to that next level. And this, I love this story about Matt Sturbins, a local ski manufacturer, who an expert, David Weiss, came to him and knew that if he had a, a different type of ski, that he could win races and that he could really create a very different name for himself. So Matt took him in the shop. They built this new ski. David won races and eventually won the gold medal in Sochi, Russia. And Matt's business grew tremendously because of this. It's just asking. It's just asking. You got to do it, even though it can be daunting sometimes okay. and scary. You got to do it. What's number two? Okay, number two is around this idea of don't shut your own doors. So we all have this this thing in us where when we get presented with something, we come up with all the reasons it won't work before we even ask anyone. Going back to our asking. Talk yourself out of it. That's right. Yeah. We talk ourselves out of it. We shut all of those doors. And what we really want to do is open them and just go for it. And we do this even on small things. I was in a situation just a couple of days ago where someone said, hey, I need some help on this specific issue. And I said, let's go ask this person. And they said, ah, oh, they might not have time. It might not work, et cetera. Right? We shut that door. We should just go ask. Let's ask. And if they say yes, we're on our way. Leap. That's right. We're a leap in 2018. That's right. We're not going to shut our door doors. What's number three? Three, avoid thought storms. So entrepreneurs daily face multiple challenges and problems. And if at any time you go too deep on one issue, then you get yourself into this worry space where it's a thought storm and it just gets bigger. Recently in a conversation with an entrepreneur, he was very concerned about, do I go to China, reduce my margins, what do I do? When in fact, the biggest issue he needed to face and work on was growing his customer base. That's so interesting. You're focused on the wrong issue because you're just wrapped up in it and you can't get out of that cycle of thinking. Exactly. Number four, operate at a startup pace. That's what does right. that mean? Okay, so this is, everyone wants to operate at a startup yeah. pace. We even hear big enterprises talk about how do you become more agile? Because in a startup, you make decisions fast and you're opportunistic. You have to. You have to. Your whole business mm -hmm. depends on that. When we were building our 3D printing company. We'd launched, we'd been in launch about three weeks. Walmart called me and they said, can you be in our stores in 60 days? And I just launched, right? I'm just brand new. And do you know what I said? Yes. yes. I said, absolutely, I will go make that happen. Because you, you look for those opportunities, and when they come, they transform your business. It led to a deal with Hasbro with us. Mm. It led to launching into Toys R Us and some of the other big retailers, all because we were willing to go solve all those problems as fast as we can. We weren't going to be perfect, but we could get there. So have that same attitude even years into your, into your company. Exactly. What's, fast. what's the last one? Last step is take bold steps. So that's the essence of being an entrepreneur. So just like Sid said, with the bold step with Walmart saying yes, you just demonstrate that confidence, that courage, and you take bold steps. And realize that no is never really no, but you take that bold step to start the conversation and to just figure it out. Well, these are two women with courage. I love learning from both of you ladies on our Tech Innovator Series. Where can business, uh, everybody out there that's hoping to get started in business, go for more? That's right, womentechcouncil.org. You can find these, this information, including these five resolutions. That from experience, we know real. They, it business. works. That's right. This they work.